everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Wednesday, and that means it's Walker, Texas Ranger Day. And this week's episode was Heart of the Dragon. A remorseless Chinese gang covets an ancient jade dragon believed to have supernatural powers and will stop at nothing to seize it. So Walker steps up to protect the rightful owner. Okay, things I liked about this episode. There was actually a lot I liked about this episode. I liked the action as it stated there um, on the screen. Um, it, the action was very, very, very good. And it's one of the things I love about Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh, I loved the storyline. I thought it was very good. Um... They bring back a character who was in another episode, but I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the episode, so I'm so sorry. Uh, I think it was from the last season or early in the season. Um, Susan Lee, whose son was the reincarnation of a religious leader. I um, can't remember the religion or the actual name of the episode took place in, um, but they bring her back and we're introduced to her father. Um, and lastly, they get into a lot of Chinese mythology, um, which I like. I love whenever they get into, whenever um, a show, not necessarily Walker, but any show, gets into the mythology of other countries. Because um, honestly, I feel the more we know about each other, the closer we can become as human beings. Um, and maybe it'll, you know, help with understanding each other. Um, so I always like that. And I love the mythology around this because they talked about this dragon. And dragons are very prevalent in Asian art. They have a strong belief in dragons. Um, the dragon holds a spot in the Chinese um, zodiac and in many, many Chinese legends and I believe Japanese legends as well. Um, so they tell the story, they um, basically tell the legend of this jade dragon, how it was created many, many, many thousands of years ago and it held this great power in China. And when it came to the United States in the 1800s, um, its power became corrupted. And the different ch Chinese groups were um, fighting over it. So it was decided they were going to separate the red gemstone in the chest of the dragon, which is called the dragon's heart from the dragon statue itself and one faction was given the statue the other faction was given the heart so they would have to work together and that is the legend of the dragon that's told in the store in the episode and then they do a lot of special effects with in this episode which i thought was cool um that were centered around the dragon and how it gave the person who possessed it this power which Dr. Lee, not Susan, but her father, um, referred to as it not so much granted power, but it helped people focus their chi. Or, um, and if I'm wrong on this, I apologize. Their their energy, and it could be used for good or bad. They also indicate that the dragon has some sort of healing properties, which to me was kind of cool. I love it when they have these in any show, um, um, particularly ones that take place in like the modern world, um, where they have these um, relics that just look like regular old relics, but they have some kind of myth, m mythical ability or something. Even if it's something as simple as it just can be used as a focal point. Um, I absolutely love that. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. There actually wasn't a lot I didn't like about this episode. I thought it was very well written. 
very well done. Um, I thought the Chinese police officer, the not the person who was descended from um, Chinese ancestry, I didn't like how he didn't really couldn't read the Chinese writing and he didn't speak it very well. But uh, they were trying to bring Susan and her father more into the story, so I kind of was like, okay, I get it. Plus, you know, hey, I'm I'm Polish, German, Italian, you know. Aust Austrian, um, Hungarian, and I don't really, I know a few words in some of the language, but that's about it, so who am I to really complain that um, a character in the show did, couldn't, didn't know the language of where he was from, or where his ancestors were from, I should say. Okay, feel free to check out my other Walker, Texas Ranger videos. My other TV talk videos.
and my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, a quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Also, feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. And the link for any site mentioned in this video will be in the description section. Okay, YouTube subscribers, any of my videos that are not on YouTube are on my Facebook page. Facebook friends, basically the same deal. Any of my videos that are not on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. And to anyone who's interested, you can feel free to check out my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner. Okay, finally, DreamWorks Dragons will be coming to an end in December and that means there will be an opening for a new TV talk series and that also means that you guys get to vote and tell me what show you would like me to do a set of videos on. Your choices are Horseland, Outlaw Star, Dot Hack Sign, and Inuyasha. Voting is extremely simple. All you have to do is write a positive comment and or like or love a positive comment in the comment section and whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'll do a set of videos on. Please keep in mind that negative comments and dislikes do not count as votes and if Inuyasha is selected I will do up through season one of the sequel as of the posting of this video. Voting will be until the 4th of December but I will give you a heads up if I need to change the date. You may vote as many times as you wish, 
but please keep in mind that in the event of a tie or no votes, I do have the final say. Also, for those of you watching on YouTube, you can go to the community section of my um, channel. Uh, I think it's the community section. If not, it's one of those sections. Um, and I have a poll for this on there as well. But that is a one-shot deal, so be sure to think long and hard before you um, cast your vote there. So far, the voting stands at two votes for Horseland and four votes for Inuyasha. However, you do have a little under a month left, so be sure to get your votes in and make your voices known. Please like and share this video if you're watching on YouTube, or on Facebook, excuse me, or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.